Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the Action Wizard in Adobe Acrobat to apply multiple pre-flights to a single file at once. Now, if you're familiar with Adobe InDesign and Adobe Illustrator, you'll know that both of those programs have Action Wizards as well, or I think they just call them Actions. But basically, this will allow you to apply multiple things to a file at one time. And in this case, what we want to do is run multiple fix-up profiles at one time to take care of some issues that we have with our PDF. I'm going to open this PDF here. You can see there's five different files here, and they're all basically just a business card. And I've had this situation with various customers in the past where they supply you with a file, and it's always the same thing. They Either they're, they're missing one thing or their colors are not... Uh, set up properly. In this case here, this hypothetical card, we have a few different things that are going on here that need to be fixed. Number one, our colors are not correct. If I go into my output preview, you can see these two colors are set to CMYK, but we are going to be printing this on an offset press, so they need to be set up as two spot PMS colors. Issue number two is this text right here. You can see you're very tight up against these logos and this part of this text box does not line up with these icons. So those basically need to be pushed over to the right a little bit. And the third problem we have with this file, if I go up to File Properties, you can see the page size is 3.5 by 2, which means there's no bleed in this file. So we need to add bleed. So what we can do is we can apply different profile or uh, preflights to fix all of these issues. So if I go into my print production pre-flight and go into my fix up here, I have three different fix ups that I'm going to be applying to this to take care of these problems. The first one here is this create bleed by mirroring objects. I've covered this in videos in the past, but essentially we just have this uh, mirror page object under our um, generate bleed at page edge and I set it to 0.125 all four sides. If you want to see that covered a little bit more in depth, please check out some of my other videos. The uh, one for that is, I believe, is just called Add Bleed to Any PDF File. Then I have two other pre flights that I created, and I named them under Dream Studio for this logo here. And so the first one here is. To change the PMS or change the CMYK values to spot PMS colors. So if I click edit here, this is the map color fix up. And again, I've covered this in several other videos before as well. So if you're looking for more details, please check out some of my other videos. But basically, this is going to take the CMYK value that currently sits for these colors and then it's going to remap it and change it to this uh, Pantone 433 and down here the Pantone 158. And then the last one here is to move this text over. If I click edit under the page contents move objects this is a 0 0.0625 so it's going to move it 1 16th of an inch to the right and I'm going to apply that only to text objects. And The reason why it's only going to be to text objects is as you can see as I kind of hover over everything here this cursor changes to show me that these are text objects. If it stays as the pointer here, you can tell these are just paths or images. So I don't want to push the background or the QR code or the logo. I just want to move this text over a little bit to the right. So I have all three of those preflights set up. The little caveat that you have with using Action Wizard in, in uh, Acrobat is that you can't select individual single fix-ups. You have to have a profile. So what I've done is under the select profile here, this first icon, I've gone up to options, create profile, and I've created two uh, custom profiles here. And if I click edit, the only thing that these profiles are doing is just applying this one custom uh, fix-up that I just showed you. So in this case, this is the move dream studio text and this is the custom fix up that we that I just showed what you'll do is just search it out over here after you've already created and 
created it in your custom fixups. So in this case, I click or uh, type Dream Studio, and you'll see this one here uh, doesn't show up over here because I've already moved it over. But there is a a button here. You just highlight the profile you want to use, and then click this uh, button here. Now, the reason I'm not including them all together in one fix-up is I want to have this go in a certain sequence. And so that's why I'm going to use an action wizard. Sometimes you can apply multiple fix-ups in one pre-flight uh, profile, but sometimes it won't work because of the sequence that Acrobat chooses to run those in. So instead, I like to go ahead and run them individually by using an action wizard. So anyway, um, so I've created those two, and I've also created my um, uh, my bleed here. So if I go into my custom profiles, these show me all the ones that I've created. This is my add uh, 0.125 bleed by mirroring. This is my fix uh, Dream Studio color, and then my uh, move my Dream Studio text. So now that I have all of that set up. I'm actually done with this file here and I can close this out. I'm gonna go back up here to tools and down here at the bottom, there's one, if you're up here at the top, scroll all the way down, there's one here called Action Wizard. And this will bring up a new um, a set of, our new tool here. There's already some built in with the uh, program, but what you wanna do is you wanna come up here to new wizard, or new action, I'm sorry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply all three of those pre-flights and then we're going to save the file into a, speci a specified folder. And this will not only allow us to check each individual PDF, but we can apply this to multiple PDFs at once. So if I go in here to document processing, that's where the pre-flight profile is. So I'm gonna click this little button here to move it over. And then here I'm gonna uncheck prompt user, but I'm gonna click on this specify settings. And now up here under your um, your uh, uh, run pre-flight check, you're going to select the three pre-flights that you created in the previous step. So the first one I want to apply is my, uh, I want to convert, or excuse me, I want to push all the text over first. So that one was called, um, uh, let's see, move. Uh, there it is, Move Dream Studio Text. So I want to apply that first. So I'm gonna hit Save. I'm gonna come back over here, hit Pre-Flight again. And then I'm gonna specify settings. Come down here and I, this time I want to uh, do the uh, Fix Color. So this is the Fix Dream Studio Color that I created, hit Save. And then the last one here, I'm gonna move over, uncheck that again. And the last one here is this add 0.125 bleed by mirroring, and I'm going to hit save. And the reason I want to run that in the sequence is this last one here by mirroring some of the elements on the page can mess up some of the formatting on your uh, movement of your text and your color. So I want to run that one last. So that's why when this action triggers, it'll run these three uh, pre-flights in this specific order and that's what I want and so the last thing here I'm gonna go into save and export so I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna push this one over and I want to go click this icon here and I want to save to a local folder and this is where we can choose what folder uh, we want so I've already created a folder here um, it's in the same uh, main folder as the other PDFs and this is a subfolder just called fixed PDFs so I'm going to hit choose, and then under specify settings, I want to add to the original file name, and I'm just going to call this underscore fixed. And what this will do is when it finishes running the, the three pre-flights, it'll save this file into that folder, and it'll add this text after the file name, and that way I can see that it's been run successful. So I'll click OK. Everything is now set up. I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna ask me to choose a name. So I'm just gonna call this Dream Studio uh, Business Card Fixes. Hit save. And now you can see under my actions list, there is one right here that we just created called Dream Studio Business Cards. If I click on that, 
it's going to ask me to add files. So here I'm going to add not only the first file that we looked at, but the other four files as well. And it's going to run the pre-flight or those th three pre-flights for each one of those PDFs and then dump them into this folder right here. So I'm gonna hit select, I'll hit start, and you can see things are basically happening in the background here. You can see this uh, text is being shifted over. The color, you'll notice, changes just slightly. And then at the end here, you'll notice that there's a bleed that's been added to the page. So you can see here, once all the uh, files disappear from this little box here, that means everything's been processed. If I go up to my file now and I go to properties, you can see this file is now three and a quarter by two and a quarter. So it's added that bleed like we uh, needed. And then if I come up here to my output preview, you can see now I have two spot PMS colors. So if I uncheck those, you can see now the, the channels are set properly. And then also the text was pushed over just like we wanted. So now this text box up here lines up with this icon. And then these text boxes have been pushed off a 16th of an inch away from these icons. So that was uh, uh, successful. If we um, close this out and I have all five of these files here, if I just open a random one up, you'll see everything is set just the way we want it. You'll notice the colors are a little different. If I click my properties, you can see that it's the, the uh, bleed is set up. And so now it's run through all five of those files, made all of those changes, and these PDFs are now ready to send off to uh, press. So it's very uh, it's very useful, especially if you have a lot of like repeatability with doing certain specific things for a specific customer. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've had a few customers in the past that always send me a file similar to what I saw here where either they didn't add a bleed or they always had their colors you know, messed up some way so that I always had to fix them. And instead of opening each one of these PDFs individually or opening them in Illustrator, for instance, and making the changes there, using the, pre the uh, pre-flight is great, but again it gets even then it gets a little tedious especially if you have like 30 or 40 um, business cards all at one time that you have to take care of so by using the action wizard that takes care of you know 5 10 15 all the you know 100 however many files you want to put into the uh, into the action wizard and it'll take care of all of them at one time and you don't have to worry about doing it all individually the computer will do all the work for you so that's it for today. I, uh, I hope this will help somebody out. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested, please uh, check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link down in the description. As always, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, until then, I'll see you on the next one.